£400,000 richer, but the poorer for it. Life after Boyd began here for Killy, and it might have started so well for the Ayrshire side as Stephen Naismith was played through. However, the killer instinct was missing, as was a chance to exercise the ghost of Chris Mist past. Boyd, to be fair, and to his credit, has given money back to Kilmarnock for their youth players. For Jim Jeffries, it's all about those currently in the squad and how they respond to the loss of their top goal scorer, Simon Ford, trying to chip in for the cause. Killy continued to play the kind of football we have come to expect from them this season. Chances were created, Colin Nash making a nuisance of himself. And it was just as well for Naismith that an offside flag covered the obvious embarrassment he felt after blazing over. Now for United, a strange season for them. One step in the right direction, followed by sideways and backward movement. The flow of this move an indication of what they're capable of. All it needed was a finish from Barry Robson. A let-off perhaps for Killy, but one that didn't deflect them from their mission. Some tidy play resulted in one of those did he or did he not mean it moments from Gary McDonald. It doesn't matter if he did or not, as the ball ended up in the net to put Killy ahead. Probably a cross, difficult to defend in any case. And also difficult to take for Gordon Chisholm as the cold hand of fate edges ever closer towards him. Colin Samuel gave his boss some breathing space early in the second half. And Samuel's second goal in two games, the reward for being there at the right time. Only twice this season have Killy scored less than two goals in a home game. The search for a second here was led by Naismith. Not prolific, perhaps, but he can be a handful. Victory important for both these sides, with United beginning to see the kind of pace Colin Samuel is renowned for. The kind of pace that won him a move to United in the first place. But despite his promptings, United's attack was all too soon bogged down by the home defence. Lee Miller's drive, a poor return and the promise of the breakaway. Kelly didn't get as high as fourth in the table without being able to win games and without going on to the end. 90 minutes on the clock when Gary Wales swept home the second last-minute winner in two games. The fourth time Kelly have won points at the death this season.